So what's up guys, so we're doing a little Q&A Sunday today. So I got you all to send me questions over on my Instagram. So a few of them here, so let's get right into it. That was meant to, you know, cue the intro. I'm still gone. Boom. <laughs> Okay, so the first question is, is what made you want to start photography slash who? And like, honestly, I think I've always wanted to try and start it, or like, I've saw like people's photos on Instagram and photographers on YouTube, and there's generally people like that, that's how I want to do it, like, oh, like, I'd say, that like a mom with Daniel, I definitely wanted to get my first camera, it was when I was uh, shooting with this guy called Zatello, Bobby, Z Bobby Zatello. And like, I was like being like a model for it because I was trying to be some, you know, woke teenager getting there like, oh, I'm sponsored by this brand type thing when they just like sent me clothes and they gave me a discount for it. So like, I still paid for it. So it's a bit of a scam. So then like, just like seeing what he can do with it and that would like, I was like, oh, I want this. And he let me hold the camera and like, it was sort of like, oh, I was just like so like in love or in trance with like photography already then. So like, that would be like why I started it or when I started it. Um, and then, I think I, then again, I think it was like, it was just uh, all the, like last year and this year, I wanted like, to push myself to try like new things and do new things and get out of my comfort zone. So I think yeah, that was like, instead of just like, oh, oh I'm thinking about doing photography. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna do it and buy the camera. Where do I have it here? No, I don't. Oh, I don't. I get to my little sister actually. So yeah, I was just like, oh yeah, I just want to do it just to see it, like, where it could go type thing. So, oh, yeah, that's really why I got into it, or how I got into it. And watching people on YouTube then, like, for the first four months before I got my camera, I was literally watching Casey Neistat, every photographer I could find, Peter McKinnon, everyone like that, like, all these, like, moody photographers, like, Chris Howe and everyone like that. Oh, like, I just loved it so much, I just, like, the whole, like aesthetics you can achieve through photography and everything like that and just everything about it is just so fun so then the next question is where do I see myself in five years time hopefully like in five years time <laughs> I know the way the world's going it's hard to know uh, hopefully I'll be like moved out of my have my own house slash apartment not living at home anymore fingers crossed being like a full time photographer that would be like my only source of income I don't have to work in TJ Fridays or a restaurant or anywhere like that or a bar anymore. Just be a photographer full time. That would honestly be the dream, to be honest with you. So yeah, in five years, photography, own apartment or house. And then maybe doing a bit of traveling, maybe or something like that. Oh, providing the world is still... <laughs> oh, the world has actually gotten its shit together in the next five years. That we can actually like leave our countries and hopefully they find a cure for coronavirus as well. Uh, what's the next question? Next question is very easy, okay? Super easy. GAA or Hurling? So Gaelic football or Hurling? I don't feel like I need to answer this if you know me. But for those who don't know me, it's 100% Hurling. There's no question. There's no argument. There's no debate. Hurling is the better sport. Ooh. Now this question. What would your last meal be if only had one day left to live? Oh, oh, that's tough. Cause like I want a Domino's. I, I love fucking Domino's. Oh, I get Domino's money mini pizza. They want like Ben and Jerry's ice cream and Domino's cookies. Oh, but then also I love carbonara. Like, oh, creamy carbonara with bacon. Mm. I love that so much. So I don't know. Can I just have like one big feast? <laughs> that's like <laughs> impossible to choose. Oh, I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, so next question is Do I have a goal, like an end goal for this challenge slash YouTube thing? Um, not particularly, I don't really have an end goal for it, really. Um, like, 
it'd be great, yeah, if I got, if I got like a small following off or something like that, or like something I could keep consistent with. And it was just the main reason I started doing this again was because I set myself the goal of doing a hundred videos by the end of this year. And of what, like 90, 90 days left, 89 days left, something like that. So like, I'm getting there, we're getting there. But we're like, I still a few like videos behind, but I need to double upload sometime next week. So if you have any ideas for that actually, like two videos in one day type thing, leave them in the comments below or DM me on Instagram or something like that with the ideas. I'll happily take them. Uh -huh. Yeah, but I'd say the end goal would probably be like, yeah, making this a career, like photography a career. Like YouTube, yeah, that'd be like amazing, but like, I don't want to say it won't happen, but like, it's very like, the odds are not, not with me like, really. So yeah, that's like, end goal, this would be great if I have my own, new oh, yeah. It'd be, I'm not gonna lie, it'd be like a dream to have like this big YouTube channel, but like my main one is like photography and like videography and everything like that. That's what I really love doing, so that'd be like a main goal. Yeah. So what's the next question? Ooh. Where is it going? Ooh, okay. This question's interesting one. There's not really like an answer to this one. Who's your favorite person to shoot with? And I can't honestly say there is someone that is my favorite person to shoot with. Shoot with. I'd say like it's very hard because like I love, I love shooting with different people. Like because if you're shooting with the same person over and over again, you're not gonna be as creative or fun. It's not as like creative or like you're just in the same person, same everything. But if you're just like constantly shooting new people, you're trying out new things. You're finding they're getting more, which getting more like different opinions of people and. People, yeah, you have to like experience different people's creativity and everything like that. So I think it's the best just to go out and shoot with like a hundred different people if you can, or as many different people as you can, because I feel like you can always learn something from someone else. Like be another photographer, or be like a model or something like that, or like they might see a shot that you might not see. So like, it's great to just go out and experiment with different people and just try different methods and everything like that. And, different ideas and not, don't stick to the one type of photography like I know I do portrait photography a lot but I wouldn't say they're all like exactly the same like they're all different vibes different aesthetics they're nearly like with like with the people I'm shooting as well because if you're constantly shooting the same person like the same style it's just gonna get boring and you want to stay committed to it so yeah I think that's all the questions for today I don't know is there any more I don't know I think that's it so, oh, now I have a question for you. Should this be like a weekly thing now, or is that a bit of a cop out? Like every Sunday, there's a Q and A Sunday, like what KSI or someone used to do. It's a big Q and A Sunday. Like, is that a bit of a cop out? Like, you know, just that's one video I've planned every week. Then on a Sunday is a Q and A, because now there might not be like new questions every week. So, let me know below if you want me to do this every week or not. And uh, have a good day. It's absolutely lovely out today. Like, look at the sun. Like, I'm looking. It's so bright and nice out. So I'm gonna go and enjoy my day. You guys stay safe. Wear a mask if you're going to public transport now and into shops. Don't be that guy who's not wearing a mask because we hate you. <laughs> or else you end up like Trump who actually got COVID. Okay? Thanks so much guys. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. See you. Peace.